Hey YouTube, uh, I'm feeling there's a bit too much stuff about me being away downloading stuff, so this is just a live video. I did, um, well the next video is probably me actually going to do my trade, so the the Relict SG is away, and I'm now just plugging in my new amp for the first time. Um, this is the Orange TH30, which has 1x12 of valve combo, which is kind of more what I would, what I thought I wanted this one. That's actually quite noisy. Okay, so it's just a, just a dirty channel's quite noisy. Um, it has got quite a lot of gain on it. So, um, I have to rearrange things a little bit so you can actually see this, but um, I'll do a proper video of it later. Um, I want to say cheers to the guy. Um, I forgot his name's at Cameron. I can't remember. I'm terrible with names. No, there's no offence. I hope nobody takes offence, but I think I can't remember anyone's name. It's like, even if I meet somebody, you know, it's like three minutes later, it's like, you just told me your name and I can't remember it. It just goes in one ear and out the other. Um... The, the foot switch you also handed you gave it to me this wee fender one uh, yeah it's, it's the right one um it changes the channel yeah perfect so i don't actually need to make one first thing i did was try to be black star but it's a a momentary so the foot switch switches between clean and dirty channels uh yeah so it doesn't have a lot of knobs on it for what it is this is actually i think it's quite similar to i remember i had a wee shot of a pauline's um it was a gym root head that came in a cool wee bag kind of let's say cute little bag thing um but it doesn't sound cute i think it was kind of just the dirty channel of this or it was a dirty channel of a big a big orange you know so it didn't it didn't have the clean this is actually two channel you get the clean and the dirty um as i said not a lot of knobs so the clean has volume bass you know, it's got clean volume clean bass and clean treble um it does have the wee uh the wee diagrams which all the old oranges have instead of having the text but in below it, they check it out and put the text as well, so you actually know what it does rather than looking at like, you know, like a bass clef or a, a loudspeaker with you know, wee diagrams. Um, then you get the on the dirty side, you've got dirty gain, dirty shape, and dirty volume. Fair enough. A uh, light switch, a light bulb, a switch to switch between clean and dirty, a standby switch which has uh, half up the way, which uses half the, half the preamp, I think. And if you push it down the way, you get the whole preamp um, and then an off, on off switch. On the back, it's got another switch which turns on half the power amp tubes and half the preamp tubes. So basically just now I'm running it at half. No, I'm not. I'm running it at less than that. So I'm using half of the preamp and half of the power amp. So 30 watt, halved, and then halved again. So currently it's running at 7.5 watts. And the volume controls, the clean volume is at, like, I don't know. What would you put that at? Um one or two or something not a quiet amp um well it's just, you know, i don't mean like it's noisy i mean bloody loud really is uh i'm gonna so this, this is my contender for an amp that um i might be able to gig with uh so it doesn't have a light telling you whether it's the clean or the dirty channel but i'm going for that's clean. Doesn't a reverb, so I might actually have to buy a reverb pedal at some point. I'm kind of used to having reverb now. Just running through the internal cabinet. I've not tried it through the the three by twelve yet. I don't. To be honest, I don't think it really needs it. Um, it seems to make a huge difference on the Laney and the Black Star having the three by twelve. I think that might be something to do with just the difference between a ten inch speaker and a twelve inch speaker. It's like more is better. So twelve is better. Um, I'm using a guitar with no options on it, so I've got a single coil and the bridge and a volume control so not going to get the full range of tones out of this thing but I mean the clean channel is lovely and to be honest that's kind of more what I'd be using it for because I've tended to use the clean channel and then use the you know, like a rap pedal for distortion on top of that but so I mean it's not clean 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 though to, to be honest, if it didn't even have, if it was just a clean channel, I probably would be all right with it. Clean channel and the volumes at like one 
and it's on quarter power mode. So I mean, kind of scared to put on the full power. Mode. Full power. It doesn't really sound that different. It's just um, I don't know what the how the, how the, the mic's probably YouTube will be automatic live on it. It's just twice. It's just much more volume. <laughs> It's, 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 it's actually really good. I was, I was kind of told it was really good. Um, I would even argue again, I've got to the point, I've been favouring this amp a lot recently. Um, it's a different type of clean. That's a clean channel, but it's not a clean sound. That's, um, you know, that's borderline distorted. <laughs> with one single coil pickup. <laughs> Dirty channel then. move stuff a bit a wee bit so we can actually see that on the, the screen or if I move the camera over a wee bit I don't know work out somewhere do it what's the point in having the, the big brand if you can't see the big brand um so that's like the gain at half the volume at like one or something um, it's only got one knob in the dirty shape um so you want a dirty shape obviously dirty shape left Let's be honest, I just said I want. Um, I always go on about how I don't really want to, I don't really, I like an amp that you just plug in and turn it on, okay, you can adjust the volume if it's too loud. I don't, I, I don't want lots of faffing about, no, there isn't really any, I don't, I don't really have any many options, but the sound that it's got is great! <laughs> Thank you. 
edit that Kiss video down last night. I'm sure I never never played Kiss before. <laughs> Sounds great immediately. It's one of those things you just plug it in and go, yes, yep, yeah. <laughs> that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do a shootout at some point to work out. Well, I'm going to use it for a, a week or so. Oh, let's see what it does with the. So there's, as I said before, because I'm using the loop pedal all the time, I would normally use uh, you know, the clean channel for the sort of backing track on the loop. What does the rat do to it? <laughs> Sounded pretty damn good through it. I might actually quite like the dirty channel a lot better than the clean channel with the rat on. <laughs> that could just be this guitar and it being new to me. And also the first time I've actually played the guitar in about a week. Well, I've been playing the wee fuzz bass a little bit at the campsite, but not an awful lot of guitar playing. <laughs> Heat Seeker, if I ever could. <laughs> this guitar actually sounds a really silly thing to say, but it's actually not that unlike that SG I had. The one that I just swapped for this stuff. Um, maybe it's the fact that the necks, because it's, in, it's a, a Les Paul neck that's been kind of 
roughly painted. Maybe that's something to do with it, but it's a very similar feel to this bit here, actually. Kind of tempted to maybe chamfer that a bit. So I can kind of feel there's also there's a bit where the degu took a bite out of it. Um, right there at the bit, you see right at the bit where your arm rubs over it. So I might actually maybe put a wee bit of a contour in that, but I mean, it kind of... I'd always consider this being a Telecaster, but to be honest, it's an SG. Um, that does sound ridiculous, but kind of is. Uh, and this pickup is a, was one of those P90s. Oh. Okay, cool. So um, I'll be doing lots more. I don't know how to turn that off. Okay, there you go. I'm beeping everywhere. Um, yeah, so I f when or what order this will go out, and I just like, quite fancied putting out a video that was a bit more normal, um, rather than being, you know, an out in the car one again, even though I did one yesterday when I went to pick up this stuff. Um, so I will catch you later, and I'll be putting out probably quite a lot of videos during the day, but see the one that goes out at 7 o'clock at night? I'll try and put stuff out before that, so at night, if you go on after 7 o'clock, the, the most recent video was a kind of a proper video, but I've got lots of wee stupid shitty bits. I took the, I had the GoPro in my head and I walked and downloaded from the the front of the main stage to the front of the second stage and I don't know, half an hour or something, I got a kebab on the way. And I just got it all on the, I kind of, I was drunk so I forgot I had the camera on my head, even when I was getting a kebab. I was like, I just got, got a GoPro in my head, I want a mixed kebab please. Um, that sort of thing, I kind of, I'm going to put it on YouTube anyway, just so I've got a reference for it and I'll be able to relive and probably remember stuff. And because it's like you know, super HD and the fisheye lens and stuff, there's probably tons of... You might even see yourself if you're at the gig. Um, so I'll, I'll be putting out smatterings of odd videos. That I have managed to talk 20 minutes. I didn't really run through anything. I was going to set up the camera to look at the knobs and stuff. You don't need to see that. Um, plus, obviously, you're showing off an amp. You kind of want to use a guitar that's maybe... I would maybe use a Strat and a, an SG, something like that. You know, a couple of guitars, get some variance in there. Um, or... Minimum even like a two humbucker guitar with coil splits on it, something like that. Not a single coil, one knob um, thing. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take that into the studio next time I crack it and see, see how it goes. I, I don't see any problem with it because I mean, the sounds. I can't imagine. It's like 30, watt, 30 watts is a big tube amp. Um, I see that that's running at a quarter power. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure that I could use that in the rehearsal room. Absolutely no problem at all at quarter power. Um, so maybe a really nice gigging amp. It was quite funny the guy. Uh, I forgot his name again. I can't. No. Um, is that? I just want me to carry that down the stairs. I was like, ah, no, it's all right. So I watch it. It's heavy. I was like, all right, okay. Uh, he's not tried lifting that beast, that thing. Even though it's actually physically. A good bit smaller than that. That's made of solid gravity. Um, that weighs. Honestly, it feels like one and a half times as much as that. And that's a chunk, a chunky boy. That. I mean, look at the size of the. You know, I was talking before about the, the the quality of a cab makes a difference. That might actually have something to do with why it sounds so good. Um, when I took off the wee Laney with its ten inch speaker, it's it's only that deep. And it's like it's, it's, it's a wee dainty, wee dainty thing. It's like, oh, you want that? Would you like my amp? You know, whereas that, it's like. It's a bit more. Um, that I think the quality of the cab. I mean, uh, the quality of the speaker as well probably makes a difference. But I think the kind of overlooked thing is a decent, a good chunky cabinet makes a lot of difference. And um, I think that's that's pretty much why that I'm, I've been enjoying that so much because it's such a heavy cab. And it's got such an overrated speaker in it. It's like pure, it's got a thing. This has got, got a thing as well. It's a really nice thing, a much more normal thing. Um, it's amazing how that bastard Scott's managed to get me using reverb a little bit. And now it's not there. It's kind of, oh, there's no reverb. So I had a wee look at um, possibly trying to run the reverb tank on this amp. I thought it'd be pretty cool to see if I had a, a, a guitar or socket on the back that would kind of split the, the Accutro Accutronics reverb tank thing on it. Oh, I can't do it because they've got the 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 those knobs to. Aye, uh, it was an idea, not going to work. So anyone know a good reverb pedal? It doesn't need to be, um, a particularly wide scoping reverb pedal. I don't need plate and hall and blah blah blah. Just a good sounding 
with one knob on it for how much reverb you want, but a decent sounding one, you know, I don't know, maybe, I suppose I could probably, I could probably try one of the wee Moskies or something like that, I don't know, what do they sound like, are they, it doesn't need to be small, just like, you know, just something relatively basic, I don't think you can get reverb pedals really cheap though, eh? I'm pr pretty sure, I, I remember, that was kind of one of the reasons I bought the Laney, actually, to be honest, was, um, because the Softec doesn't have reverb, and I thought, oh, I should probably have reverb, um, and I was looking at reverb pedals, and they didn't, they didn't. I remember going into Guitar Guitar and actually going, ah, I'm looking for a you know, wee reverb pedal, thinking in my head that it was going to be 20 or 30 quid. So ah, we've got a special offer on this cheap one, it's used, and it was 80 quid. And it was like, that's a cheap one, used. So I was expecting them to be like, don't take the hint. I was, I was expecting them to be like, you know, 30 quid, 40 quid new. And this thing was 80 quid second hand, that was the cheapest thing they had. Yeah, so I might need to um, have a wee look and see about a reverb pedal. Um, if anyone wants to swap something for a reverb pedal, I might find that interesting. Cool! Rock on! And uh, I'll just catch you later. I'm looking forward to the live stream. I'll, be, I'll get so much shite to talk about party time at download. And next year, the tickets are on for download next year as well. Four day festival. I managed to make it last five days because I went down on Tuesday. Stayed Tuesday night at Wayne's. Wednesday night at Wayne's, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I managed to get six days out of it, so next time it'll be a whole week rocking. Catch you later.